everyone. This is Pro Robots, and we are here in Long Beach, California. Today, the final testing happening in ANA Avatar X Prize competition. This competition is sponsored by Japanese airline company ANA. That's why it's called ANA Avatar X Prize. The Japanese company actually wanted to boost development of avatar system technologies that could transport people to remote locations without leaving their homes. So it could be used for remote work, for example, for mining in very dangerous places or to check equipment placed in remote locations to fix it. In the future, it could be used also for travels to the Mars or to the moon, not not leaving your home. This is how it started in 2018. 78 teams were submitted to the competition. Only 37 uh, made it to the semi-finals and today 17 teams compete for the Grand Prix. 17 teams got to the finals and today we will find out who will win Grand Prix of 8 million dollars. First team will get 5 million, the second 2 million and the last one, third one, 1 million dollars. But she is not quite sure what she wants to do with her life. She turned to take your time figuring out what you want to do with your life. And as you run light, you can kind of feel those tackles popping. There we go. Nice. Now curl your bottom fingers. In. My name is Ilya Sidoshkin and our team is Dragon Tree Labs. We are from Singapore, some of us located in Dubai. We started uh, as a small group of people that were inspired by the challenge itself. Over the last two years, more people gathered and you join us. Our avatar system focuses on human-to-human -human communication, keeping eye contact, feeling the human behind the system. It can basically repeat many of normal human actions like moving, seeing, hearing, talking, taking the objects and even measuring, measuring its weight. We believe in a future where everybody uh, adopts telepresence system in their day-to-day -day life using their uh, conventional video calls in a telepresence way, feeling the 3D effects. We are going to release our product uh, next year, 2023, and we believe that going to be a mass market product. You got into top 10 actually, which is not bad. And how do yeah. you feel about it? We are excited actually. Uh, we, are, we are one of the two, com uh, two teams which are not university uh, affiliated teams. Uh, our team and uh, uh, NBA Robot are t just two teams who are doing some uh, commercial product. Mm -hmm. We do our uh, video uh, communication device. We have uh, as this is a part uh, uh, from the from the robot. 
uh, I will show you the picture. Uh, I have one picture, uh, which is also symbolic. Uh, let me show you. Yeah, here, here it is. You, you can you can see. Uh, this is a picture was drafted. This is a sketch uh, was done before the competition. Uh, I mean, in, in, in the middle of competition, when we're talking with uh, our tech team, how to perceive human to human communication, how people can feel not not the robot but the human behind the robot. We come up with this idea. Yeah, thanks to competition. Right behind me, one of the team is trying to complete the assignments. So there are several things that they have to do. So operator is remotely control avatar system, which is going through the like, passage in the Mars kind of Mars looking environment. And the robot has to reach the power switch and operator remotely has to turn it on. And and then there are manipulation of several objects. They have to put canister to lift up and put in a different location. Then they need to identify some rocks, understand which one, which one, which one of them they have to pick up. So there are several tasks, like eight or nine. Uh, I, I will have to check. And um, there are several points. The maximum amount of points they have uh, that they can get is 15. And it's not just about completing tasks. It's also about how operator feels. What is the experience of operator and what is the experience of recipient? And uh, so operator is actually a judge. It's not like they super trained. They have only 45 minutes to train how to manipulate the avatar systems prior to uh, testing. And not many of them like very user friendly or, or intuitive. These 15 points uh, will come from judge who will um, give points for this experience, how easy it was, how what, vis what visibility was and so on. And uh, one part of, of points will come from completing the tasks. So good luck to our teams and we'll see who will be the best. Bumbling, keep bumbling, I'll keep doubling You keep bluffing, you've got nothing I'll keep hustling And third place with 14.5 points and a time of 21 minutes and 9 seconds, I'd like to welcome from Boston, Team Northeastern. My name is Stephen Alt, and I'm on Team Northeastern. Our team is from Boston, Massachusetts. We all met at Northeastern University in Boston, working in our research laboratories where we are undergraduate and graduate students. We are the only team with a hydraulic base system, and this allows for very fluid and precise motion. The operator controls the mobility of our avatar via an exo glove and an exo arm that we develop all within house. And on top of that, 
We have developed a foot pedal that drives our system uh, for the omnidirectional drive. Our operator is actually able to feel the haptics through something called force feedback. So when they move their finger across a rock or across a rough surface, they're able to instantly feel that texture. We are most excited for the live audience that is going to be able to witness our system uh, perform the tasks in the course provided to us. And along with that, if we are lucky enough to take home some prize money, we could even spin off our ideas into a startup. How does it feel? It feels very good. We put into a lot of hard work, had a lot of great competition, and it was just an amazing experience overall. So we're, we're very lucky. We would have been grateful, even if we didn't win, but we're very happy that we were able to place in the top three. The second place and a prize of $2 million. I'd like to call up my friends from Bordeaux, France, with a score, perfect score, of 15, uh, 15 points and a time of going through this very complicated course in 10 minutes and 50 seconds, Team Pollen. My name is Rémi Fabre and my team is Pollen Robotics. My team is from France, Bordeaux. Our avatar system is unique because we aim at making a robot that is affordable, a robot that is a product. We made it from the ground up using some of the shop components, but most of them we did ourselves. We did the arm ourselves, we did mobile base ourselves. We believe our competitive edge is that we build most of our robots so we can fine tune almost anything we need to target this competition. For example, our mobile base uh, can move sideways and we can make it very fast or very accurate. Also, our arm has an articulation that's very very special. It's called Orbita and it's actually a full three-dimensional rotation that we can, we can use. We're excited to be here to prove that we can achieve useful stuff with a robot without having it cost millions of dollars. How do you feel now that that run was done It was such success? I feel great, but then also I lost like five years of life expectancy, so yeah. <laughs> so now at what point throughout that run, because it was blazing fast, one of the fastest times we've also seen, at what point did you start to get a little bit nervous through that? Through oh yeah, I, I started getting a little bit nervous at the first second of the run, and then every time it goes, it got worse, really when things started getting bad where when we got the uh, the drill I believe something broke uh, on the right arm and then Alison the judge uh, realized that and then changed the arm which was incredible like uh, having a, a hardware failure like that and being able to complete the mission uh, is incredible. So let's cue up some of those highlights but in terms of the grips are they the same on the right and the left hand because I know they were designed specifically for the drill. Yeah, both are symmetric, both are able to do all of the tasks. Um, yeah, so that, that gives a, an extra layer of robustness to our system. Well, here's a look as you see Ricci currently reaching for that lever, got that done, and then, wow, what speed through this. I mean, one of the fastest we've had on this course, so it's so fun to see this. Now, in terms of application, I know that this is a kit used for so much research that's been sent around. So what is the application for the future of this system? So what the difference between one of our, well, the other robots and ours is that our robot is actually a product. So we wanted to, to be a solution that's both affordable and use, useful in the real world. Uh, applications include all of the HRI um, research, but, all, but we want to target manipulation, robotic manipulation. So in the few months, following months, we'll develop a uh, grasping toolkit so that we, we can go beyond teleoperation towards autom automatic grasping. And here's the big moment. I know this is the one that got you most excited right here. The ball was, wasn't coming out, like I was dying, like, like just come out. <laughs> and then this is also really neat. You actually saw the arm actually brush along the length of the rock. So did that haptic feedback work in the way that you'd hoped it had? It did. The idea is that you have a, a fingernail that will scratch the, the rocks and then you will have a feeling in your arm that, that will uh, copy that, that vibration. And I believe Alison, our judge, had that feeling, recognized the, the, 
the stone, which of course you can see, but you, you, you get the points only if the haptic feedback was enough to identify, and I believe it was. Question one, two, that's pretty good. Question one, two, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. For now, greetings, Jerry. Welcome to Planet X. Uh, now, we have a very difficult mission here in front of you, and it will involve a lot of operator skill to complete. This is just Nimro versus Nimro right now. Jerry's going to say 10, so... <laughs> I have a feeling that... Uh, I'm not going to... I don't want to say that. You never know. Our team with the perfect score of 15 points and the absolutely insane time of 5 minutes and 50 seconds our friends from Bonn, Germany, Team Nimbro. My name is Sven Wienke. I'm with Team Nimbro. Most of the team members uh, are PhD students from uh, my Autonomous Intelligence System School at the University of Bonn, Germany. Our system is unique mainly because of two things. First, uh, we move the camera of the avatar as the operator is moving their head. And then we have a trained new network that reconstructs uh, an animated face of the operator. And that gives the recipient really the feeling that the operator is actually inside the robot. I think we have a competitive edge because we have experience with such competitions. We are happy uh, to be part of the finals and we are looking forward to showing uh, the jury members uh, what we developed. I think we have been lucky to have tremendous operator judges uh, who were sitting in the driver's seat and being every day faster than the previous day solving all the tasks and of course uh, that wouldn't be possible without the tremendous team being able to resolve all the difficulties uh, that we had and we really appreciate uh, to have the chance to participate at this uh, great event thank you thank you so much Sven Congratulations to Team Nimro and all the teams. A huge round of applause for the incredible success from an, a question about teleportation to this moment. It's a wild ride for everyone at XPRIZE, at ANA, at Avatar Inn, for Nimro, for all of the teams that competed.